I want to teach you a bit more about determinants because this is a very useful function um, for engineers and for scientists. So let's go back to the beginning. Let's start talking about 2 by 2 and 3 by 3 determinants. Um, we had already introduced the uh, 2 by 2 matrix, A, B, C, D, where we calculated the inverse of this matrix. So the inverse I wrote as 1 divided by the determinant of A. And the inverse matrix was um, obtained by switching D and A, so D and A on the diagonal, and negating the off-diagonal um, elements of the matrix. So A times A inverse is equal to I. Um, the important point here is that we divide through by the determinant of A. So the determinant of A turned out to be A times D, the multiplying the diagonal elements, minus B times C, the off-diagonal elements. And um, in order for the inverse to exist, the determinant, determinant of A needed to be non-zero, right? Non-zero. So what happens if there's an inverse to the matrix A? Then if you have a um, system of linear equations, Ax equals B, if it turned out that the determinant of A was not zero, then you can invert, find the inverse of A, and you can multiply on the left by A inverse. So you can solve this equation, uh, at least formally, by x equals A inverse times B. Okay, and that would be a unique solution. So the existence of the inverse gives you a unique solution to a system of n equations and n unknowns. Um, and for the inverse to exist, this, this function, determinant of A, right, which takes an n by n matrix and returns a number, that number that it returns has to be non-zero. If that number is not zero, then the matrix A is invertible and Ax equals B has a unique solution. Okay, in particular, um, the equation Ax equals zero, uh, if A is invertible, has only one solution, which is x equals zero. So that implies x equals zero, the zero uh, column vector, if the determinant of A was not equal to zero, okay? And that actually will be a very important result when we talk about eigenvalues and eigenvectors later, later in this course. Um, so this was the two by two matrix. So you can play this game with a three by three matrix. So here, let's write the three by three matrix. A equals A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, right? And one can write the equation Ax equals zero and come up with a condition so that um, only x equals zero, x equals zero is the only solution, okay? Um, that's an exercise in algebra, would fill up half of the light board, but it's, it's, it's uh, absolutely doable, okay? So if you did that, you would get determinant of A. So um, there's a nice uh, trick for remembering what is the determinant of a three by three matrix. So I can, uh, let me show you the trick and write down the determinant. So this is for a three by three matrix. The trick is that you go diagonal you, you draw diagonals in this matrix. So the first diagonal is A, E, I. And then the second diagonal is B, F. But then, right, you run out of the third row. So you just pretend that this, is, uh, this matrix is written again on the right-hand side. So you go B, F, and then you would repeat the matrix. So then this diagonal goes to G. So it would be AEI 
plus BFG. And then one more term, which would be CDH. CDH. So plus CDH. And that gives all of the diagonals sloping from upper left to lower right. That's three terms. And then there are three more terms with diagonals going in the other direction. So then we have this diagonal here, CEG. And this one, the, the diagonals going in the other direction gets minus sign, so C minus CEG. And then we have two more of those diagonals. So we have uh, BDI. So minus BDI. And one more, um, which would be AFH. So minus AFH. So these six terms form the uh, determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. So this is a very nice, um, as we could say, mnemonic. It's a way of remembering what is the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. Unfortunately, this trick of drawing diagonals doesn't generalize to n by n, so this only works for 3 by 3 matrices, but um, it's a nice thing to remember. So if the determinant, determinant of A is um, not equal to 0, then A is an invertible matrix and AX equals B has a unique solution. So that's true for the 2 by 2 matrix. That's true for the 3 by 3 matrix. OK, so what we're going to want to do then is to generalize this to n by n matrices. And we will do that uh, in the next video. So um, mainly the thing to remember here is the, the 2 by 2 determinant is very simple, AD minus BC. And the 3 by 3 determinant isn't that much harder. There are six terms instead of two, but it's very easy to remember what those six terms are if you remember that you just draw these diagonals. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.